Hey, Townley, are you going to have some gator bites? Yeah. Me too. I am so excited. Becca, are you going to eat some alligator with me? No, fish. Oh, fish? <laughs> uh, you're not going to try alligator? Buddy, alligator is so good. So like we've said before, we are so glad we can get to our bathroom because we are in middle Georgia and sometimes there's just not anywhere to pull off. Thank the Lord for this parking lot. All better, Mom? All better. All right, cool. All right. Me too. So you just saw us. We uh, pulled off in that church and used the restroom. And Brooke made a great point. It's really nice to have your own restroom on the road. And uh, another good point is you don't have two kids with grabby hands in the convenience store wanting candy and Cokes and all that stuff. So uh, glad to be able to get to our bathroom for sure. Magnolia Springs, we're here. There's a sign right there. Continue straight. Daddy. What, buddy? Chocolate. I hear it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, first impressions of Magnolia Springs. Very, very good. You know, almost a perfectly level site. We had to drop the tongue a little bit, not much. And you can guess who is happy about that, being so close to the campsite. Got some monkey on her hands. Good job. 1.4 miles, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, everyone. So we are going to go on the Beaver Trail here at Magnolia Springs, and uh, I didn't realize that there's bears. This there's bears this far south. I knew Florida had bears, and I know North Georgia has bears, but there's bear warnings out here. So I find that a little bit interesting. And it's alligator country, so it's uh, like 55 degrees right now. So I sincerely doubt we'll see any alligators, but we'll certainly look for them. So uh, we're also we'll, so we'll take you on the Beaver Trail. Um, it's about a 1.4 mile loop trail and there's a nice platform viewing area about halfway. So we'll check it out. Good job, Bula. Tallulah's name has turned into Lula Bula, which has turned into Bula. So I'm sure you guys have your names for your puppies that aren't quite their names. So one of the great things about hiking in South Georgia after a little cold snap, no bugs. We don't have any bugs right now, which is awesome. So this is a great time of year to come to South Georgia. Uh, it's supposed to be getting mid-60s today, so even better. And uh, hopefully, no snakes. So it's always fun to see a snake from far away, but not on the trail. So yeah, we're Look at that snake. definitely some uh, feeling the South Georgia flora and fauna. But this is a nice flat trail, easy for kids, and we'll get you to the observation deck here in a minute. In the swamp. Back here in the swamp. Not really cute. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. I like it. I'm get down. No, you can't get in here, buddy. Yeah, look at that bobber. What bobber? Those bobbers out there? See them? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's three. I see that, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Not You gonna be gator, gator snack? You be a straight up gator snack, Tim. Say. I see a turtle. And I see fish. Oh, cool. I see you. What do you think? Oh yeah, check it out. There's the spring right there. Look how pretty. Look, see that turtle? Man, I wish we could fish there. Look at that turtle. 
turtle. Oh yeah, well, it's a big guy. Look, look at that other turtle. Yeah. Ooh, look at him. So cool, guys. Wow, look at all those fish. Boy, how nice would it be to fish in here? You can't fish here, can you, Tim? This has got to be like heaven for a turtle or a fish. Don't you think? It seems like it would be. There's the springs. So Lula, do you like Magnolia Springs? Huh? What do you think, Lula? All right, so we're gonna go check out the Magnolia Springs History Center. Um, but before you walk up to the door, it's a $2 admission, you gotta go to the Visitor Center to pay that, or else you can't get in. So go ahead and go to the Visitor Center first, unlike what we did, and try to go to the front door. But the Visitor Center is just right next door, so it's no big deal. All right, like I said, it's $2 per person, anyone over 10 years old. And um, so you actually get the key to the museum. So that's pretty cool. So we'll actually have it to ourselves and uh, we'll get to check it out. Townley and Beckett actually have, um, as far as we know so far, at least five fourth great grandfathers that served for the Confederacy. So nobody of any um, any rank, but, um, but yeah, I, I find that very interesting and I'm sure they'll find that interesting one day but yeah they they'll I'll tell them a little bit about that while we're in here so let's check it out <laughs> oh, this is the old prison that's like Lincoln log right there isn't it that's my mini Look at that old field desk, Tim. A fish man. No, that's a Confederate soldier. Where? Camp Lawton was stationed. So a little interesting factoid about Camp Lawton. The guy that shot John Wilkes Booth was um, actually housed here in Camp Lawton. And it uh, looks like he was paroled, but yeah. It's a celebrity that was housed here. You can hit the pause button and let's see if I can get close enough to that to, for you can read it. Hit the pause button and check that out. This is the old fort right here. Pardon? You see those hills? Those aren't natural. Those were put there by humans back in the war. Don't climb on them. Yeah, we can go in there though. We're gonna go into the fort. Well, this was the fort 150 plus kind years ago. <laughs> kind of boring now, huh? Mm -hmm. Not much to it. But I promise you, you'd rather be here now than back then. I'm taller like you. You are taller like me. You are the big guy. Doing something a little bit different for us. We are surprising the kids and we're taking them into Statesboro to go to the movies. So we're, they've been really wanting to see the new Grinch movie. So we're going to do that. It's something we've never done on a camping trip before. And we're a little bit anti-screen while we're camping. But I think the movies is a little bit different. You're all together, you're all eating a little bit of popcorn. Um, I think it's just a little bit different. So headed off to Statesboro. We're actually in Statesboro now. We just got here and we're going to check out the Grinch. Yeah, where are we going? We're going fishing. Yeah. Let's see if we can't catch us some fish. Got our little dock demons out here. Let's see what we can do. Our little two foot fishing poles. All right. We're gonna be alligator aware, right? All right, let's get it going. Let's see what we got going. Not really having any luck. I don't think they're biting right now. Didn't get no fish. Didn't get any fish, did we? 
I guess we're gonna go hungry tonight, aren't we? Thanks for carrying the tackle box. It was a valiant effort. Hey guys, so we're off to George L. Smith State Park and we're headed there from Magnolia Springs State Park. It's only about a 25 mile drive, so we wanted to go ahead and visit George L. Smith. But as we're coming down to George L. Smith, I always find it interesting. There's a little bit of curiosity and a little bit of romance to these little tiny Georgia towns down here. Like we always wonder, you know, what do they do for a living? And um, it just seems so simple. And I'm a little envious sometimes when we drive through this town, these towns, these small towns. And uh, so anyway, we're headed off to George L. Smith this morning. We'll get some good footage for you and we'll check out the campground and we'll let you know how it goes. So this is a really cool spot here in George L. Smith and you can see the water's down probably maybe 15 feet, 10, 15 feet, probably 10 feet. But that exposes the roots to these trees and it looks really, really cool. Thank you. 